If you use Windows 11, it's very possible that it's not optimized because you aren't using these custom settings. So today I'll be explaining the best Windows 11 settings that will get you higher FPS and lower input delay. No matter what gaming system you use, this guide will benefit you. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe if it does indeed help out. Alright, so firstly we're going to de-bloat Windows 11. You can do this when setting the OS up, just make sure that you select English World right here and what that'll do is it'll remove all those built-in bloatware apps like Xbox, Netflix, Pinterest and so many more that are pre-installed on Windows 11 by default which then leaves you with this super clean fast operating system from the get-go. After that you want to make a restore point just in case you have any issues or problems. If you do you can simply revert all the changes back with ease like you can see on screen right here. Moving on in the Windows settings you want to head into system, scroll down to notifications where you'll see two boxes. Make sure to uncheck offer suggestions and uncheck get tips. This will disable those super annoying stutter cores and pop-ups on Windows. Down from that you'll see storage sense which automatically frees up space. Make sure this is turned off as we'll do this manually so it doesn't run in the background while we're gaming. Back in system if you click on the sound settings tab and scroll down to the bottom where it says more sound settings. In playback if you right click on your main output then go into to properties. Under enhancements what I like to do is disable all of these as I've heard it's better for performance although sometimes they do have benefits like I've explained in these videos on screen but for the most part I like to disable all of them. I also like to go into advanced and select the highest quality possible for the best sound on my system and finally I like to go into communications and I like to make sure this is set on do nothing. Next on your desktop you want to press the windows key and R a run box will appear. In Side, you want to type in temp then allow permissions you then want to press ctrl a to select all the temporary files and then you can delete all of them by pressing delete key it'll state that some of them can't be deleted which is okay just tick do this for all current items and skip it inside the run box again you want to type in percentage sign temp percentage sign again then you want to select all of them by pressing ctrl a then you can go ahead and delete them all via the delete key again and then follow the same process as before and for the final one you want to type in pre fetch then grant the permission select all the files again and then delete them all yet again back in the windows settings but under the gaming tab this time you want to select xbox game bar what you want to do is make sure that this is disabled as there's way better alternatives out there such as shadow play and obs in addition you can go into game mode now some people like to have this enabled such as myself i find it's better for fps but some people also like to disable it as they find that they get better performance having it disabled so it's one of them you just have to test out for yourselves. In settings again, this time go into apps. Under apps and features, you'll notice there's a ton of apps that you probably don't use and are taking up resources as we speak. So just go through all these apps and remove any of them that are completely useless to you as I'm doing here on screen. Under startup apps, it's pretty much the same principle. Simply turn off any startup apps that you don't think you need to start up with your PC. It's the same thing where they'll be taking up resources when they don't have to. You can see some have higher impact than others just go through and see which ones that you don't need to start up with your pc i would highly recommend that you focus more so on the higher impact apps more than anything in the settings yet again you want to go into privacy and security inside the general tab you want to make sure all of these four options right here are disabled as they're pretty much useless for most people out there also in speech i like to disable this setting as i really don't use it if you use it you might want to keep it on i also like to disable that diagnostics and feedback option too. I don't really require it so I like to take it off. Oh as well I like to scroll down a bit and disable any of these apps that I don't have any use for. Like location most of the time I do it on my phone so I like to disable options like this but do this at your own risk. Make sure you're disabling stuff that you don't actually use. If you use it you want to keep it enabled. Finally in the settings tab again this time you want to go into accessibility. If you scroll down to mouse then click on the mouse at the bottom, then click on additional mouse settings. In the properties, go under pointer options, then simply uncheck pointer precision. This setting right here is mouse acceleration, and if you uncheck it, you are essentially disabling it, which is what we want, because mouse excel is awful for gaming. Next, you want to open up the Windows search and type in command prompt. Then you want to select run as administrator, this is important, and then click yes on the confirmation. Inside here, 
here you want to type in the following command that's dism slash online slash cleanup dash image slash check health. This will verify any data corruption that may be on your PC that could be responsible for lower FPS or stutters. But once the scan does complete, if there is anything that flags up that there probably won't be, it will fix it automatically for you, which is great. In addition to that, there's another command, that's sfc slash scan now. This verifies the integrity of every protected operating system file on your computer. And when the scan does eventually complete, it'll either say that everything's good and there was no problems found or it'll fix any problems that do pop up. So it's a really good idea to run both of those. Again in the Windows search, this time type in services, then you want to click on the application. These are all the services that are running currently in the background of your PC and what we're going to do is disable some of the useless ones that are taking up PC resources. The first one is fax. If you don't use a fax machine you definitely want to disable this as you can see I'm doing on screen. Secondly we're going to select wallet service. This is another one that I myself don't use, so I like to go ahead and disable that one as well, as I don't find myself using the Windows Wallet in any way, so I'll go ahead and disable it. Thirdly is the Windows Insider Service. If you're like me and you're not interested in being in the Insider program for Windows, you can go ahead and disable this with ease, as I'm doing on screen right here. Yet again in the search, this time you want to type in Edit Power Plan, then click on the option. Then you want to select Change Advanced Power Set ends and by default you can see that it is on balanced which is actually beneficial for most people out there that use medium to high-end PCs. I'd probably just keep it on that if you are so but there's also a high performance option as well which if you do want more FPS especially those on low-end PCs I'd highly recommend selecting that option. Finally in the search you want to type in adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and then select the control panel option and inside the performance options right here you want to select adjust for best performance and you can see it swiftly removes all these settings but we need some basic windows functionality so what we're going to do now is select five of these different settings on screen right now once you've ticked those five boxes you are all good to go oh as a final thing if you go into your nvidia 3d image settings um if you put these settings on screen as i've got them set up you will get a pretty huge fps booster from this video on screen that goes into everything in more detail It'll link below but these are the best nvidia settings and that right there was all of the best windows 11 settings if you want to optimize windows 10 or optimize your nvidia control panel i highly recommend checking out these two other videos on screen right now